Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about how I grew up my brows. This is the number one question that I get asked on my YouTube channel, on Instagram, on Snapchat, on Twitter. And today I'm finally going to be telling you guys how I took my brows from looking like this to how they are now. And I'm going to be going over how I actually grew the brow hairs out, but also how I fill them in to make them look as natural, as full, and as thick as possible. Because let's be real, you know, Cara Delevingne, brow goals. Lily Collins, brow goals. Zendaya, brow goals. So that is kind of the look that I like to achieve. And like I said, we gonna be doing it today. So don't forget to subscribe. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hopefully you, you know, you're liking what you're seeing. Hit that subscribe button if you do. And and don't forget to also hit the little bell if you want to be notified of all of my new videos. I do upload three times a week, so you definitely don't want to miss out. And yeah, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so these are my brows. No makeup, no nothing in them yet. Honestly, they're still kind of a work in progress, but they have really come a long way. And the number one thing that I can tell you guys if you're trying to grow out your brows is try as best as possible not to do anything to them. Don't touch them all the time. Don't pluck them out. Don't, you know, go and get them waxed every other week. Don't go and get them threaded all the time because that is the number one thing that leads to thinner brows. So you really want to just kind of let them do their thing. I know at first it's going to look a little crazy. For me, I had literally gone in and like plucked out everything. That's why they were so thin. So they grew back so patchy and sporadically. Um, but even when there was like a little literal patch like up here, I would try not to touch it too much and what I did do is use brow serums that really helped me because in the back of my head I was like okay at least you know I'm hoping something's working here it's gonna come back fuller it's gonna come back more even and the main one that I use is actually this one from benefit it's the Bravo conditioning primer I really really love this stuff because I think it's pretty legit I feel like it really did help my brows grow back in fuller thicker and you know quicker also so you literally do one little twist for each brow and you just kind of go in and apply it like so and I like to concentrate it on the parts that I need more help on so for me it's more so towards the tail of the brow because that's where I had literally gone in and plucked everything out so I literally just go in comb it through and I feel good about it because it really does help my brows to grow in stronger and you know thicker so that's what I do I love this stuff because one it's so easy to use you just, you just saw me apply it but also you can wear makeup on top of it which I know a lot of brow serums they're too heavy you only can use it once a day at night but this one you can use morning and night and makeup applies completely fine on top of it so I really really love this stuff if you're looking for more of a DIY option I wanted to give you guys you know an option for that as well and this one is so easy to make and it works really really well so all you're gonna need for the DIY brow serum is some some castor oil some liquid vitamin E and then also some liquid coconut oil and it's so easy to make literally all you do is take a third of each ingredient and mix it together in an empty container and then you can apply it with a spoolie or even like a cleaned off old mascara wand and I would recommend applying this every single night this one I don't recommend applying in the morning because it's really difficult to apply makeup over top of this serum just because it's so oil based but you can definitely apply it every single night and I'm telling you it's going to work wonders. And honestly, while you're in the process of growing your brows out, I actually think it's very important to try to fill your brows in to your desired shape because obviously if you're, you know, every day looking at your brows and they're super thin and you're just not happy with them, it's not going to be a great situation. So that's why I definitely recommend filling them in the way that you eventually want your brows to look, you know what I mean? So for me, um, when I honestly, when I had my brows at their thinnest, oh my God, I would literally fill them in like no tomorrow. Like it was like caterpillars on my face basically but um now I've kind of found like a good medium of how I like to fill them in but I always start with a pencil um this one is from L'Oreal it's the brow stylist definer in the shade brunette. Um, I do really love the Maybelline one, honestly, but I just ran out of it yesterday and I haven't had a chance to go and get a new one. But this one is pretty good as well. And basically what you're going to do with any pencil that you're using is go in upward motions, drawing little hair-like strokes throughout the entire brow. This is what's really going to give us that natural but full effect. And I highly recommend doing this to get your initial shape down. Then once I have that initial fill-in, I actually go in with my concealer and do an outline of where I want my brows to go 
show, how thick I want them to be. This really, really helps me get the exact thickness that I want and the exact shape that I want. So I highly recommend doing it at this point. And all I do is take a little bit on my Chella Beauty brow brush and I'll go underneath the brow and make a straight line from the front of the brow to the arch. This is the part that you really want to make as straight as possible to get that desired shape and that perfect arch. Then I'll make another straight line from the arch to the tail of the brow and then we go on top. Now this is the part that you want to play around with the thickness a little bit more. So if you want it thicker, obviously make the line higher. You always want to increase the thickness on the top part of the brow. We're looking kind of crazy, but we've got that nice brow shape. So you can see it almost makes like a little brow stencil with the concealer and then you can literally go right in those concealer lines with either a brow pomade or a brow powder depending on what you're more comfortable with. I usually go with pomades or like brow creams. So today I'm going to be using Benefits Cabrow and I do like to use this specific brush. This is the ABH 7B because it's very very narrow if you could see that. It's so nice to use because you can get really really precise strokes with your brows and it looks as natural as possible and you can see here I'm literally just filling in exactly where we've made those stencils and again still going in upward hair like strokes to get the most full, the most natural and the thickest looking brows possible. And obviously once you have them filled in the way you want you want to go back in and blend out the concealer. You can clean up any sharp lines that you want, make them a little sharper, make them a little smoother, blend everything out and then we are ready to set those brows down and I always use the Makeup Forever brow gel in 00. You guys know this is my favorite brow gel in the world. It is so good because it actually does really hold up your brow hairs and it makes them look a lot fuller. Like I'm telling you guys, it works. I'm telling you, it will make them look Ooh. So, um, what I do is I literally just brush upwards. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty self-explanatory, honestly, but yeah, you just kind of want to brush everything upwards, even the tails, to continue with that fullness. If you do have straight hairs that you are just dying to pluck out, I highly recommend plucking them once you've already filled your brows in because that way you're not going to go too close to the brow shape, you're not going to make them too thin, you can just go into those straight hairs because your brows are literally outlined exactly how you want them to grow out so you'll know not to pluck in those areas. And those are my tips for how to grow your brows out but also how to fill them in while you're in the process of growing them out and I hope this helps you guys. I know I always get a lot of questions on how my brows went from like little thin little lines on my face to where they are now and that's exactly what I did the biggest thing I can tell you is do not pluck them too much you know don't make them too thin don't touch them too much because we all have the tendency to just go in there go hams on them and that is pretty counterproductive to getting the nice thick full brows that we all like but I do have a giveaway for you guys today so I'm gonna be giving away some of my favorite brow products from Benefit we've got the Precisely My Brow Pencil which is actually one of my favorites the Cabrow which I use today the Gimme Brow got some shades of Gimme Brow for you guys and also the Goof Proof Brow Pencil so all you have to do to win this little prize pack of brow goodies is be subscribed to my channel and then also subscribe to my vlog channel which is Roxette Arisa Vlogs I've been really trying to vlog more so I hope you guys enjoy the vlogs um and yeah just just comment down below once you're done, once you're subscribed to both channels, and you are going to be good to go. And you'll be entered to win the brow products from Benefit that I highly recommend. Um, and that is it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. Love you guys so much. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you next time.